Hey everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Summer in Her Socks. It's my new knitting podcast that I'm doing. I don't know why, like I, I don't think I'm gonna be very good at this, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Um, I'll be talking about all things sock knitting, um, a little stuff about just daily life too. Um, obviously showcasing cool yarn that comes my way and um, kind of just telling you guys what's going on in the world of Summer Lee Design Co. This week is kind of a big week. So I'm releasing this podcast, which I might delete after I post it. <laughs> because this is like, I don't, I'm not, I've never done a podcast before. I have not done any public speaking since I was in college and I did debate. A lot of good stories from the debate circuit, let me tell you. Um, those were some crazy times, but it's it's been a long time since I've done any kind of like talking to people, especially since COVID. I don't talk to anybody anymore. I barely leave my house. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be any good at this, but I'm gonna try. So anyways, I'm releasing this podcast. And then I'm also releasing my very first free sock pattern and tutorial for a basic sock. And this is it. So if you do not know how to knit socks, you probably don't follow me because I think most people that follow me also are sock knitters. But if you're one of those people that follows me and you're not much of a sock knitter and you wanna learn to knit socks, I am releasing a free basic sock pattern along with a ton of um, tutorial videos to show you every step of the way. It's all in magic loop. So if you are a sock knitter and you don't know how to do magic loop and wanna learn, it's kind of perfect for that too. So yeah, the podcast, um, will be focused on talking about things like that, that I've got coming up, new patterns, and then just stuff like going on in my life. This is my little podcast area. This is my kitchen banquette area. Um, so no one's like allowed to come downstairs and do anything while I'm doing this. And I don't think that they're too happy about that. My husband actually made coffee like a few minutes ago when I was filming another tutorial video. And he's probably like, he wants to come in and get it, but he can't because I'm in here. <laughs> filming. He works in the next room. He works from home now because of COVID. So that's been interesting because we both have stuff to do. And like sometimes he's on a conference call and I need to like film a video or do whatever and I can. And then other times when he really needs coffee and wants to come in here and get it, um, he's he can't because I'm, I'm doing this now. So I don't know. Do any of you guys have that issue like with spouses working from home and you're like bumping into each other and then school starting? Like our school system started today and we decided to homeschool and not do the virtual learning thing. I still haven't ordered the curriculum. Like my plan was to like get started around the fall solstice just because that, I don't know, that just sounded like hippy dippy and crunchy and I love hippy dippy crunchy stuff. But the problem with hippy dippy crunchy stuff is that you can't be lazy. Like it requires a lot of effort to be a hippy and to be crunchy. And so I love it in theory, but like I hardly ever put that stuff into practice because I'm just too lazy to do it. Like making my own stuff like soap and I would love to make my own soap, but more often than not, I just look at pictures of how to make it and I don't actually move beyond, <laughs> move beyond to the point of actually making it. So I still just buy soap from the store like a loser instead of making my own, but whatever. Um, Anyway, so all that to say, haven't started homeschooling, haven't done any of that yet. And that's gonna have to happen soon. Like my kids can't just, I don't even know what they're doing right now. I know they're upstairs and they've been there for hours. No idea. Like they could be ordering uranium off the internet to build some kind of like nuclear warhead and I wouldn't know. Like I, I have no idea. They're like 11 and 13. So they're kind of at that age where they're super self-sufficient and they kind of want to be left alone. And so if you like give in to your like, oh wow, this is great. I've got all this time. I can do all these things. Like hours can go by and you don't even know if they're alive up there, like honestly. But in September, we're going to be starting school or homeschool thing that we're going to be doing um, so that's going to throw a whole nother layer. We're just all together in the house all the time, um, which we're super lucky that we're all here together. So not that I don't, not that I don't appreciate all of that, but, um, it can be challenging sometimes. So anyways, that's what's going on in our lives in yarn knitting news. Like I said, I've got a free pattern coming out this week and tutorial. 
Um, I've also got a couple of patterns on the horizon. I'll show you. So the first one that I've got coming out September 10th, I think, is this like ribbed boot sock kind of kind of thing. And so the pattern has a lot of different options because I love that. I like when patterns have options where you can customize and like knit something several different ways. So generally the patterns I write, I try to do that. Um, so this particular sock is a ribbed sock and it's got different stripes, different cuffs, different heels that you can do to kind of customize it and make it your own, different length options. And it's gonna have a little video tutorial for crocheting these cute little flowers. Um, so if you've got just bare minimum crochet ability, you can do it. If you don't know how to crochet, these are really simple. You're not doing any complicated crochet maneuvers. So it would be pretty easy to pick it up and kind of learn um, just to add some little flowers to your socks because they're so cute. I almost can't handle how cute they are. Like sometimes I feel like I go too far with the cuteness, but then I don't know, that's just who I am. So I just kind of let it go. I just kind of go with it. That's what you got to do. So that pattern's coming out in September and then so these caused a little bit of a stir on Instagram because I call them the little black socks because this yarn is black to me. But then some people were like, that looks blue. And then it was like, is it like that dress thing all over again, like the gold dress or was it a blue dress? And it's kind of, kind of that, like a lot of people thought it looked blue, but I'm calling them the little black socks and they're just a really cute cabled sock. It goes down the side seams and then it's got like a little pearl texture on the front and on the back of the leg not on the foot because you don't want to step on little pearl pebbles all day long. Um, anyways, that'll be coming out late September. So those are some sock patterns I've got on the horizon that I'm super excited about. Um, new yarn. I shared this in my Instagram stories. House of Ala Mode. Let me tell you, I have had a history with House of Ala Mode. I have there was like a year at least, maybe more than a year where I tried to get my hands on this stuff and like through a whole series of unfortunate events, I would just miss out on her shop updates. And so every time she had an update, I would somehow miss it or I'd be too late and everything would be sold out. And so I never could get my hands on it. And I just thought, I'm just never gonna have any. I'm just never gonna get this yarn. And then she opened up her shop in Gresham and then just started putting yarn just up on her on her site like all the time. And I was able to get House of Alla Mode yarn. And this it's got to be my favorite. This is Dancing Bears, and it's like this super colorful yarn on tweed. Oh, it's just so great. It's so great. I mean, you know what? You know how it is. Like when you get that like perfect skein, you open up the package, and you just pull it out, and it's even better than how it looked in pictures. And that was this. It was just oh, so great. So, anyways, that was my yarn mill this week. Made me super happy. Um, I guess since this is the first episode, I should like tell you a little bit about me. Um, I live in Oklahoma in a college town just south of Oklahoma City. Um, so right now, like all the students are coming back. So it's like 30,000 kids just cruising on into town. But I grew up in a really tiny town, like far northeast corner of Oklahoma. I've lived here my whole life, like in Oklahoma um, and mostly in little teeny towns. Um, and so... Yeah, I grew up with like 400 people in a town, 20 kids in my class, a lot of cows. Um, yeah, and then uh, now I live in like a suburb of a city, so it's pretty crazy. Um, as far as jobs go, I've had a lot of a lot of different jobs. Um, I worked as a political reporter when I was really young in my 20s, and I worked at the state capitol. Um, I still, one of my most embarrassing moments of my entire life, and I still think about it and get sick to my stomach. Like, I don't know if you do that, but like, I'll be laying in bed trying to go to sleep and I will think about embarrassing things that happened like 10 years ago and just, oh, like I'll just get sick to my stomach. <laughs> and I wonder why I don't sleep very well. And it's probably because when I'm trying to go to sleep, I think about like horrible, you know, things that I said to someone like 15 years ago, things that I regret doing, embarrassing things that happen. But anyways, one of my most embarrassing moments of my life um, was when I worked at the state capitol. And so they had this big rotunda area and like the senators were on one side and the state house representatives were on the other. And when they break, they'd all go mingle in the rotunda with like all the lobbyists. And it was just this whole mess of people, you know, hanging out in this rotunda area. And one time I was walking through there really quickly because I had to get to this committee meeting that I was supposed to cover and I tripped. 
And I did that thing where when you trip and you're like, huh, I just tripped. And so you start running like for no, <laughs> no reason. Like you're going to fool everybody. Like, oh, I didn't just trip. I just started running for no reason. Like, oh my gosh. Like even now I'm like, oh, that's actually not the worst tripping incident I've had though. The worst tripping incident was on my very first day of college. And I was walking down the sidewalk just thinking this is so great. I'm in college now. This is awesome. And I tripped and fell so hard that I rolled. And oh my God, I'm like, oh, I'll never forget it. But anyway, I've also worked as a documentary researcher in the documentary department at our state's um, public television channel. And that was really cool. My son Memphis, when he was a baby, ended up being in one of our documentaries. We did a documentary about meth abuse <laughs> in this particular county in Southeast Oklahoma. And if you're from Oklahoma, you know, Southeast Oklahoma, um, that was where all the mess, <laughs> the mess making was occurring. So we did a documentary about that. And my son Memphis as a baby was in a dramatic reenactment of a mess baby crawling around in a mess house. Um, and so I still have the DVD of that from when he was, when he was on TV reenacting as a mess baby. Um, after that, I was a stay-at-home mom for a long time, and then I worked as a professional photographer in the creative department at the corporate headquarters of a national craft retailer. Um, if you're curious which one it was, they are famous for smuggling stolen artifacts from the Middle East, among other things. That was an interesting job. I have so many stories about that place. Um, but it was cool because the creative department was full of amazing, cool, diverse, creative people. And so I got to photograph sets for social media, stuff for product packaging, all kinds of stuff. And there's skills that I use today, like all the stuff I learned from the stylist that I worked with, um, and then all the photography skills I use all the time in photographing my socks and my knitting for my patterns and for Instagram and all that stuff. So. Um, that's the last major job I had, and mostly since then, I've been a stay-at-home mom. Um, I also have um, a chronic illness called, uh, it's called ulcerative colitis, but its, its parent name is an inflammatory bowel disease, which is such a great embarrassing name. If you're going to have a disease, have that one, because it's just, oh, it's so embarrassing. But anyway, so that's definitely... Um, influenced my life in pretty huge ways. Like when you have a chronic illness like that, um, there's no cure for it. There's only treatment. And so right now I'm in remission, which is super exciting. But when I was not in remission, that's when I started designing patterns because I couldn't do anything. I couldn't work. I was at home just all the time. Um, and so that's when I started designing knitting patterns. So in a way, I guess it's kind of cool that I have had that because it definitely, um, definitely kind of set me on this path that I'm on now. So um, if you ever want to talk about chronic illness, anything like that, um, I am definitely here for it. Like I, I can definitely sympathize and commiserate with you on the ups and downs of living with um, an autoimmune disease or anything like that. So, um, oh, my family, I left them out. Okay, so I'm married to a guy named Dave and he plays classical guitar beautifully. So I get to listen to beautiful music a lot whenever he plays at home. Um, and then he also works for a healthcare technology company. That's his, that's his actual job. Um, but I always think of him as a classical guitarist because he's so good at it. Um, and then I have two kids. My son Memphis is 13. Oh. And let me tell you, 13 is a challenging age. Like I'm trying my hardest to remember what it felt like to be 13. And it's like, mm, sometimes it's hard. Like, like, was I that big of a jerk when I was, you know, like, I don't think I was, I don't know. I don't know. I think boys maybe are different. I don't know, but he's still a great kid. It's just sometimes he gets a bit of an attitude a little bit about stuff, but I don't know. He can't help it. He's 13. And then uh, my daughter, Sailor, she's 11. Um, and then we have two dogs, Beasley, who is adorable. She's some kind of terrier, mutt mix. And then Forrest. And Forrest is a Siberian Husky. He's seven. And I'm kind of just like waiting out the clock for this dog to just pass. Like, I love him, but he's the worst dog. He doesn't like to be pet. He will get up and walk away if you like start walking towards him. 
just, I mean, he just doesn't care about any of us. Like he's just horrible. And he sheds a whole dog's worth of fur every day. It's all over our house. He doesn't like to be furminated. So we literally, my husband and I have to wrestle him just to furminate him. It's, it's horrible. So I could take or leave Forrest. Beasley's great. Beasley is like exactly what a dog should be. Um, so anyway, so yeah, that's, that's my family. That's me. Um, again, first episode. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if it was terrible. No idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to keep at it. I'll keep trying. Um, because I love talking about knitting, love talking about socks. Um, my YouTube channel has this podcast, but it also has tutorial videos. Um, I'm working on uploading more and more. Um, obviously this week, big one, the how to knit a basic sock is coming out. All kinds of tutorials for that. Kitchener stitch, heel flap and gusset, all the, all the things. And then, um, I uploaded a video for magic loop too. If you want to know how to knit magic loop, you can find me on Instagram. I will post those links in the description of this video. And hopefully I'll be back soon with another podcast episode and we'll talk some more about like stuff that's going on in the knitting world and in the actual world and in our lives, that kind of thing. So um, thank you for watching my very first episode and I'll see you next time.